amazing. And when you do... When... Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Hey, do what you do. Back again, come through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but Sumi Sue about to do the do. Okay, I'm gonna try and do something, girl. Listen, okay, so as you can tell, the hair is already on. I just wanna jump right on into this video, get things started. So today's hair is from Unice. I'm sure you have seen them on my channel many of times, and that's because they really do provide, they really do be pro providing some really good hair. Okay, today's hair is absolutely a summer vibe. It is super, super pretty. You're gonna really see her in a minute when I install and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just trying to get my edges to lay and stuff like that. So I'm gonna roll the clip of me styling this or just putting it on. There's not a lot to do to this hair right now because it's curly, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm just going to, you know, spritz it down with some water, maybe put a little light oil in it. I'm not gonna be doing mousse because I want it to be soft. So whenever you want your curly hair to be soft, you wanna put oil, okay, or a sheen, something that is gonna give it its, its luster and keep it, you know what I'm saying, shiny and stuff. Can you talk today? What is wrong with you? Anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right on into this video. Let go.
yeah, so make sure you check out You Nice and shout out to them for sponsoring this video. They always do come through. I think I need to take a minute. My voice is cracking. Like, there's a lot going on this morning. Also, so you saw me cut the band. Um, I'm just going to explain this because I know I'm going to get questions. Lately, I have been cutting the bands out of my unit because this little hook tends to get caught in the nape of my, in my kitchen. Don't try to pretty it up, girl. Just call it as it is, all right? It gets caught in my kitchen whenever I'm trying to take it off, and I hate that. So lately, I put in my own band, but I'm taking this out. Like, the little hook, I, you know, we have been together for a long time, but it's now, now it's time to break up because you just ain't doing me right, okay? So, yeah, I always cut them out. So if you have the same problem, girl, just cut it out and put in your own elastic band, okay? Your kitchen, your edges will thank you, all right? So I do that to all of my wigs. All of these wigs that I get, I do that, okay? So make sure you check out you nice down in the description box. Now, today's look is gonna be colorful. We're gonna be doing a summer vibe. Should I do colorful with this hair though? That's the thing, like, I'm scared. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly scared, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Let's just jump. Let's, a leap of faith, okay? <laughs> a leap of faith. All right, so uh, yeah, make sure you check them out. All the information for this will be down in the description box. So uh, yeah, listen, let's, um, Let's zoom in so we can get with him, okay? So we are up close and personal, and I'm just gonna take this off because I need to relax while I'm doing my makeup. I can't have my circulation being cut off, okay? And this has been sitting there for a while, so. We should be good to go, okay? Um, What are we talking about today? I don't even know if we're gonna talk about anything because, ciao. The Wahala 2 palette by Juvia's Place back again for another run. Like I said, I'm trying to do more than one look with these palettes because you get them and then you never see them again. You put them down and they're just there collecting dust and it's kind of like you're moving on to the next, you're moving on to the next, you're moving on to the next because every time we blink our eyes, something else is coming out. So I want to do another look with this palette, okay, because there's so many colors in here. Like, why am I just, you see what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. And like I said, it's going to be colorful. So I'm going to do my brows off camera and let's come on back okay y'all so i'm just in here you know i put on my base i basically mix the juvia's place one and two thingamajiggies okay um now it is time to just do the eyeshadow but i'm literally in here i was like i'm gonna be doing a colorful look you know whoop de woo and now i feel like i just want to do a neutral look <laughs> but i'm gonna stay true to myself and do the colorful look we're gonna we're gonna get into it okay we're gonna have some fun we're gonna just do something really, really, you know, just, we're gonna do the do, okay? So, first things first, I'm gonna go into, ooh, I feel like, let's do some brown, pink, and orange. How does that sound? Does that sound fun? Let's just try it, okay? So, first, I'm going to go into the, ooh, what am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna go into the brown and that's ASAP and it's this chocolatey brown shade right here. So with that, I'm going to, you know, just start to build a crease basically. Okay, I'm probably gonna do like a little halo look. You can tell I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, let's just do some chat. Okay, so I have the shape. Next, I'm gonna go in with the pink shade, which is this shade right here. And with that, I'm gonna start to create my transition. And I hope that I'm going in the right direction. I hope that I can get it to see through because blending brown up there can be a little bit tricky and it can get really, really muddy. So I'm gonna, you know, focus my energy right now on just, you know, getting that pink to pop and not making it too, too muddy. And at the same time, blend the brown, if that makes any sense, okay? <laughs> Listen, when I tell you the Juvia's Place palettes are the bomb, the fact that I did all of that and the brown is still there, the pink is showing, it's not really muddy, you know, it's just, it's giving, okay? Now I'm gonna take the orange, which is called Wasted, and that's this shade right up here. And with that, I'm going to start to blend out the pink. So we're gonna have a little transition from brown to pink to orange. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that brown and do all of the blending, okay? The pink and the orange will blend really, really easily, but I need to, you know, do a little bit more blending on the brown right there because it's not, it's not giving what it's supposed to give right about now. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna use the same brush as well. I'm just cleaning it off. Oh, hold on. Perfect time to try this because I'm using the same brush. So Sigma recently sent me their Sigma Switch. It's a, I know you like. 
um, it's a what you call it like the switch pad it's basically like a silicone pad and you're supposed to like rub your brush on it to switch out the colors that way you can use the same and they also sent me two blending brushes absolutely love Sigma brushes and they're really expanding you know when it comes to making more brushes so I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for that and it's two sides and all of that is like you see what I'm saying like it's two sides both sides so I'm gonna be trying this today why not okay yes let's go let's see if it's really gonna work and switch out oh, oh my god that just sucked up that color the brush is completely clean it just literally sucked up all of that color literally took it all off it's kind of it's a little sticky like there's a little it's like that sticky type of rubber there's no residue or anything on it but the rubber is giving mm -hmm. well done Sigma okay I like it I don't have a code for them child we don't have work on that okay and it's getting hot so I need my fan y'all might hear it but here we are okay we're not doing it in the heat the AC is on the fan is on we're okay we're just not we're not gonna be doing anything in the heat <laughs> right about now so let's go in and add that orange right at the very edge and blend you know what I'm saying? do something fun today okay so I'm gonna take some of the number two shade of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna do a little cut crease action not really to cut the crease but I just need a little stickiness or am I gonna cut the crease let's cut the crease girl I don't know what I'm doing as you can tell we is indecisive today okay uh, you definitely want to shake this up because it does separate a little bit I have found but that's nothing new you know okay so I'm gonna take some of the number two shade of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna do a little cut crease action not really to cut the crease but I just need a little stickiness or am I gonna cut the crease let's cut the crease girl I don't know what I'm doing as you can tell we is indecisive today okay uh, you definitely want to shake this up because it does separate a little bit I have found but that's nothing new you know so uh yeah let go Y'all know how this go. I need to concentrate. Do I want to cut the crease? <sighs> Stress my breasts. Or do I just want to put a base down? Okay, so I decided not to cut the crease. Just apply a base and go in with the eyeshadow. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel like I need a cut crease to do this halo eye. So now I'm going to go in with that pink and place it right on the corner. And now I'm going to take that orange and just place it right in the center. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to put a little bit of shimmer in the center of that orange. But for now, we're just going to put this down. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of that brown just to help, you know, make the transition a little bit more smooth. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with that brown. And then when I'm done with my face, I'm going to go back in with that pink so we can have the same transition as we do up top. I was thinking to do a green down here, but I think it's just going to be too much. And the green might just throw off that pink and orange, basically. So we're going to play it safe. <laughs> For my lashes, I'm going to be using the Flutter Lashes. This is intoxicating and I have it layered with no bad days. Okay, so these are stacked up. That's what we're going to be doing. Boom. And let's zoom out so we can show out. Okay, I know I said I was putting on my lashes, but girl, they're gonna have to wait because, okay, I need the glue to dry. For my primer today, moisturizing, I'm gonna be using the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the Aloe Chamomile and Lavender Facial Spray. And I'm using this because I just want a light moisturizer now that things are getting a lot warmer. So that's what we're gonna do. Just very light, okay. And then I'm gonna press it into the skin. So refreshing so 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 refreshing okay yes and for my actual primer i'm going to be going in with the tatcha silk canvas primer listen still a great product i don't know why <laughs> okay we're not talking about this anymore like this is really a great product okay and as you can tell i'm opening a fresh one yes it comes packaged like that when you get it okay true asian style japanese style okay so boom 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 so pretty <laughs> okay this is gonna fill out those pores this is gonna make your skin really nice and smooth I'm gonna get a little bit for my forehead 
Okay, the MAC Paint Pot. I still get so many questions and so many DMs on this product. Pucha. But I get it. I'm not being, you know, <laughs> I'm not being a snob or anything like that, okay? Uh, I know a lot of you are still new to the channel. This is the MAC Paint Pot. This one is called Bric A Brac. I use Bric A Brac, I use Belly Epic, and there's a red one, but this basically helps with smile lines around the crease like if you if you relax your face and you don't have smile like you know you don't have creasing and when you do but and when you do your makeup and you smile like when i smile right in there i get a little creasing right there and it drives me crazy i just feel like it spoils the whole makeup so this basically helps to color correct these are actually new because before this i was using painterly and that's basically just white like if you watch my previous videos you would see that but basically they came out with new colors that basically help to how many times you're going to say basically will help with color correcting at the same time and prevent creasing so it's literally a win-win product i absolutely love this i stand by it if i'm going out anything that i'm doing i'm wearing this okay this goes on the face so i'm really truly grateful for the new colors as well like this is just a brown girl's dream like okay you color correct and you prevent creasing okay now mac I absolutely love flutter lashes like their lashes they're affordable they're synthetic animal cruelty free um okay absolutely love them like they're just you know and they're super pretty like intoxicating is my favorite my favorite 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 but i also love stacking them as you can tell you get a more full look okay where are we going with these eyes so with the mac paint pot if you leave it if you don't put anything on top of this it will dry okay it's meant to be an eyeshadow base but if you don't put anything on it right away just let it sit for a minute it will dry that's why they're long wearing and that's why they tend not to crease okay because it's kind of like a paint hence the word paint pot okay so no foundation today i am not doing any foundation okay i'm gonna be should i let's let's use some different products girl hold on girl i changed my mind okay so we're gonna be using Too faced once again today i just okay i can't be bothered to go and dig up stuff right now and Too Faced is really, really nice and it works, okay? And your face is gonna feel super, super duper light. Also, I'm gonna be using Huda. This is Coffee Bean, okay? That's what we're gonna do. Whoop de whoop, shibbity, boop, boop, boop. Forehead, not so much, okay? For my under eyes, I'm going to be using Warm Sand. I'm gonna be skipping sand. Normally, I put sand in there just to brighten up some more, but I don't need it, okay? Like, less is more. So we're just gonna be using three liquid products for the face, okay? and to help with the blending where is that hair i can feel it just stressing me out i'm going to be using toffee toffee matches me really really nicely so we're just going to place this in between those areas and you don't need a lot of this because it is a concealer so a little bit goes a long way Okay, to set everything in place, today I am going to be using Honey and Nutmeg, both by Fenty Beauty. Don't know why I've been <laughs> neglecting. I had to shine it up for you, okay? So, first we're going to go in with Honey and do under the eyes, and then we're going to go in with Nutmeg all over the face. This I'm also going to speed up because, I mean, it's just the same stuff, okay? Ain't nothing new but this lace glue, okay? Normally, I would use my the same powder that I use on the outside of my face to contour my nose, but I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Bronzer in Tan. This is one of the, I think this second to lightest shade. I can't remember. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to use the lightest shade up here, and that gives me a really nice little tint on the nose without it looking too crazy now when it comes to nose contouring nose contouring is a preference honey it's all about how you want your nose to look after you're done contouring there's a million and fifty ways that you can contour your nose you can actually carry this bronzer color a little bit more close like to the bridge a little bit more make it a little bit more narrow basically and that can give you a really pointy you know type of nose like you actually got a nose job okay there's tons of tutorials on that but i don't contour my nose like that i i'm getting con comments on why do i contour my nose like that honey i still want my nose to look like it's a black nose a little bit round okay so i tend to do it just on the very corners like where it for me where it should be okay there's nothing wrong with contouring your nose the other way that can give you a really snatched look and maybe one day i'll do it for you so you can see the difference and then you can leave me alone because i feel like this way 
just my mirror. I feel like this way it looks a lot more flattering on me. Okay, so now we got the bronzy fire to catch Papi's eye and I'm gonna be using dark, the you see what I'm saying, I absolutely love. And I'm gonna be tapping into both and just giving myself a little chisel. And I'm literally just tapping because they are pigmented. And I'm gonna warm up the face, you know, just puts a little flush of color so we look healthy. <laughs> okay. And I'm also gonna do right here, just a little bit, not too much. I don't like to do a whole lot under here. Okay, going back to my lower lash line, I'm gonna take that pink. And that, the name of it is called Too Much. Okay, girl, we is just too much. Okay. And we're gonna just blend that into that brown at the very edge right there. Okay, for my inner corner highlight, I definitely feel like I want to do a pink color in there. So for that, this palette doesn't have any shimmery pink, so I'm gonna be switching out to the Juvia's Place Pinks palette. And I'm gonna clean off the brush. And I feel like I'm gonna take this top shade right here and I'm gonna spritz my brush because I don't want any fallout on this beautiful face that we just did, okay? And I'm gonna be using the watermelon face spritz, Miss something something. Girl, I cannot talk today, okay? I'm fumbling and stumbling. Boom, that was the right choice, let's go. right okay sunshine and light uh, chestnut on the lips definitely by Mac and for the center I'm gonna be using uncuffed okay in the center of this I'm gonna go in with unbutton I feel like it's just a tad too mauvey for the eyes I should have just went in with this color that's the look right there mm-hmm girl we look good <laughs> Okay, for my gloss, I'm gonna go in with Pretty Please, and this is from the mini collection. I feel like this is gonna do me some justice. Mm -hmm. That's what it needed. A little pink gloss to bring in the right hue. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. mm. Lips. Okay, so normally I would spritz my face, but I'm not gonna do that, because as you can tell, I'm already getting a little dewy. I haven't even put on any highlight on my nose. Like, I'm just, you know, Summertime starting to you know sweat and produce oils basically so I'm gonna leave it exactly as is and <laughs> Yes, this is the look super cute super fun super colorful. You know what I'm saying? Yes Okay, guys, that is basically it for this tutorial I really love how everything came out very very fun and colorful and very summertime ready Absolutely love this hair. This hair is giving we are at the beach Let me tell you you guys know how I love to cut right here Like if you watch my older videos, you know that I love to cut right here whenever I'm doing glueless like real real glueless I don't want any flaps because this right here is really hard to stay down unless you're gonna stick it down So I like to just cut off off that little air tab right there put a, an elastic band from here to here and that's gonna make all give all the tension like right here and at the beach like 
the wind is blowing okay you're done up like okay you can go into water with this this is really pretty I like the color I'm not gonna lie I like this color on me I don't know if it's the color or if it's just the curls that I'm really really feeling right now but I really like everything that's going on here so make sure you check out you nice hair this hair is very summertime ready you're gonna be seeing a lot of curly hair coming from me because I'm on the hunt for the perfect summertime curly hair you see what I'm saying yeah. oh let me uh, listen if it is your first time here go ahead and subscribe join the tribe come on in we are a happy bunch okay nothing but positive vibes inside here okay comment down below I want to hear from you guys share the video guys sharing is caring give me a thumbs up if you if you like if you, if you I need to get out of here if you like what's going on in here follow me on all of my social media platforms IG and basically TikTok, really getting into TikTok. I I literally deleted my Snapchat app. Like I'm just not over there anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like what's the point? Anyways, <laughs> too much rambling. Listen, I love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with me and always, you know, supporting you girl. I love you guys so much for that. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, until the next video, take care of yourselves and I'll see you guys really, really soon. <laughs> I know how.